Pick a note, any note. A. A is the root note of what? A. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking at me like I'm a dummy, okay. <laughs> I'm used to it. <laughs> so, A major, A minor. That's not a tune. So, A major, A minor, A minor 7. this going on there. Everybody sing along. It's a clash. So A major 7. Okay, what else we got for chords for A on top? A is the 1, right? A is the tonic, right? So A is the root note of A, right? Okay, so A whatever, right? A7, A minor 7, right? A diminished, right? A minor 7 flat 5, right? What else? Let's see, do you like a D chord, like DFA? DFA? We're talking about A though. Oh. A is the tonic of A, right? Okay, so. Is that in C sharp minor too? We'll get there. Oh, okay. So A is the, is the one of all these A chords, right? Yeah. What's a half? What's a half step above one? Flat two. Flat two or flat nine, right? Yeah. So we got A is the one of major minor minor seven dominant seven diminished seven minor seven flat five. A is the flat nine of what? G sharp. How about a flat seven flat nine? There's a flat nine there, right? So we've got a seven flat nine. We got. A flat minor seven flat nine. That's a Johann Sebastian Bach likes that chord. A couple times I'll show you where he puts it. Okay, flat nine. So we got a seven flat nine, minor seven flat nine. We for, we forgot the tonic. We forgot a augmented. We forgot augmented. But we got a flat nine. We what kind of flat nine chords? We have a dominant seven flat nine. We have a minor seven flat nine. And we have the you know advanced chords. So a flat nine is going to be over a flat, right? Because a flat would be the root, and b would be the nine, right? So a would be the flat nine. So we've got uh, a seven flat nine. We've got a flat seven flat nine. Okay, 
Okay, so now if it's the flat nine, the next note could be could be the nine, right? So A would be the nine of A nine of G nine. G minor nine. be a seventh chord like a G7 with a sharp five. So you could have an augmented nine, it would be a G augmented. <laughs> Possible. So, so A would be the nine of, of G9, G, G uh, minor nine, G minor six nine. Okay, now if A is still the note. We did the we did the tonic, we did the flat nine, we did the nine. So now what about the sharp nine? A is the sharp nine of Hendrix. So flat three of minor F sharp minor seven. Here's a F sharp seven sharp nine. Okay, so we do sharp nine. After sharp nine is what? Three? Because flat three and sharp nine are the same, right? Mm -hmm. If it's a flat three, you've got F sharp minor seven, F sharp minor six. F sharp minor major seven with A up there, right? F sharp minor major seven flat five. Okay, so that's the sharp nine. Now, and the flat three, right? What about the three? A is a three of what? Yeah. Major seven or F major. Right? right? And F seven, right? And F six, right? Now if you made it a minor six, it wouldn't be A anymore. What it would be. So A flat. So A is the three of F, and then A is the four of what? E? Yeah. So E sus4. Okay, it's the augmented four of what? E flat. E flat major seven plus eleven. And I'll call E flat six nine plus eleven. Does it make any sense to you guys? This one note, you can attach it to dozens of chords, right? A, 
You got A major, A minor, A minor 7, A7, A augmented, A diminished. That's A, and then A flat. Then we got G9. G7, G9, G minor 9. And then now, instead of the 9, we want to do a flat 3 or a sharp 9, so we got F sharp minor 7. Or if it's a sharp 9, we got F sharp 7. Whenever you play piano, do that too, just go. Cool. Especially in front of Marge. Just play the sound though. And just keep doing it. Like repeat it like eight times. No, no, don't. That's a bad idea. You should give you a better or worse grade. <laughs> Unless you tell her Pepper told me to do it. Then she'll give me a hard time. <laughs> but that's okay. Alright, so. A is the third of all the F's, right? Okay, and it's the fourth of all the E's, right? And it's the fifth of what? All the D's, right? Mm -hmm. So we got... We got D major, D minor, D minor major 7, D minor 6, D major 7, D7, seven, D minor 7 flat 5. Oh no, A can't be the minor 7 flat 5 because A is the 5, right? Mm -hmm. So it would have to be A flat, so we just cancel that out, right? So we can't do D minor 7 flat 5. We gotta go D minor 7, D minor. You can do a D sus D7 sus4. D9. Okay. So that's the 5 of D, right? So it's the sharp 5 of what? D flat. So we get D flat 7 sharp 5, right? And what else? D minor seven. No, what's on the sharp five? D major seven sharp five. D flat major seven sharp five. Right? It's a Chick Corea chord. So you got D flat major seven. He has a sharp five on some of his compositions, so he'll use a major seven. And the sharp five for that tension, right? So sharp five, after sharp five we got six, right? And six is the same as thirteen, right? So if we've got A there, we can go C thirteen, C six, C thirteen, C major thirteen, C minor thirteen. C minor 6 this is a John Lennon chord. It's a sort of an obscure John Lennon song. Anyway, so the C minor 6, the A on top of B. 6, right? Okay. So. Above the six would be a flat seven, right? So A would be the flat seven of what? B. B seven, right? So you got B seven. You got this one. And then B minor seven. Seven flat five. Okay. Uh, B major 
seven, right? No, because this flat seven would collide with the seven, right? So it'd have to be a B seven, right? So the flat seven is good for a dominant seven or a minor seven, right? Or a minor seven flat five, right? Okay, what if it's a natural seven? What if B is the major seven? B is the major seven of B flat major seven. B flat major six, right? So we got major seven, okay. Uh, minor major seven, right? So if we got B flat minor, Just trying to keep A in the top. Okay, so if it's seven, what's after the seven? The octave again, right? Mm -hmm. So we've covered all chromatic tones, right? So we've got A is the root of all the A chords. It's the flat nine of A7 flat nine. It's the nine of G9. Sharp nine of F sharp seven sharp nine. It's the it's the three of F major seven. It's the four of E seven sus four. Okay, and then it's the five of D right. So you see how this works? So that's called note plurality. One note can belong to lots of chords, right? So that's what this is getting towards, is note plurality. And that's a compositional tool, which you'll reflect on in about five years. <laughs> you didn't say something about that. Yeah. All right.